Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a very, very fun video because you guys will never guess what just got here. The EcoFlow Delta Pro. This is so exciting because this is just the beginning of going completely green energy in here. Now, I do wanna talk about a lot more stuff throughout today's video. Now, really, this morning my plan was to just plant a lot of stuff. We still are gonna be doing that, not in this video, we'll be doing that in probably the video that will come out in about two hours from now, but this is very exciting. Number two, I was very unexpected. I was very just kind of caught off my guard right when I saw this arrive at the front door because today's Friday and this was supposed to get delivered in about five days. So it caught me off guard quite a lot when I saw it at the front uh, doorstep. So it's gonna be very, very interesting. I'm very excited to really check this out because I've been watching this system in particular for a very long time, over two years now. So I am so excited about that. There's gonna be a lot of stuff to prep a lot of stuff to do before we do go ahead and get this out. Uh, it's also incredibly heavy. It sucked to have to get it in here, but it's going to look really, really cool. Starting off the video, before we do go ahead and start today's video, please subscribe, hit the notification on all so you're not upset video, and please like this video. I am planning to do a review on this power generator eventually on this channel too, probably in about a week or two, but this is going to be very exciting. So let's just go ahead and start today's video. Now, this system. One of the reasons why I chose this in particular is number one, it was 51% off. Number two, it is one of the only systems that can power a system like that. Number three, it can, it can really take multiple things of power coming in at the same time. So if I'm charging it from the outlet, it can charge from the outlet. If it's plugged into solar panels outside, it can charge it too. So it can charge multiple ways, which is awesome. Um, it can just kind of separate here and there it's also incredibly smart so i can just not let it go under 20 percent, and i cannot let it go above 80 percent to help keep its shelf life and its battery life up as long as possible but i'm also still looking at other ways to generate power i've talked about the man-made hydro generator if you guys have no idea what i'm talking about you can check out some other videos it was a system where um there'd be a ton of turbines on it it would spin constantly and make power that theoretically wouldn't work, so we're not gonna be working with that. We've also looked into hamster power, which would be really, really cool to have, but um, it's just not efficient. And even if you had 100 hamsters going, you would only be able to harvest maybe 100 watts, which is insane um, for just incredibly low. So I do think eventually it would be really, really cool. I'm really hoping tomorrow or the next day I can get a lot of other stuff in. I ordered a 3D printer and I also ordered um, some copper wires and some magnets. So I really wanna do some testing in that area and see how much this can actually generate. Now the thing is you can spin turbines billions of ways. You can, well, for the most part, the same thing is the same idea. With hamsters turning it, it's the same generator. With water turning it, it's still the same generator. So the thing is we just need a more renewable way to be able to spin it. And for some reason, when you think about it, it does not sound complicated. It sounds like, man, that would be easy. But when you think about it and you start testing with a lot of stuff, it is an extremely difficult question to be able to ask. Because there's a billion ways you can turn that turbine, but the question is, what way is gonna be the best for the nature and for the area? What way is gonna be the most efficient? And what area and what thing is gonna be the safest? So I'm still doing a lot of testing and with this video and with this kind of intro part of it, I'm not saying I don't want to create my own power, but I really do want to create my own power in the future. Probably should have reworded that, but the thing is there's so many complications in creating power that just kind of gets stupid sometimes. So just with solar panels, I think a lot of the rules there are really dumb because I mean, Solar panels could be the future of electricity, but right now, it's hard to see that. Number two, you can generate lots of stuff, but turbines aren't exactly safe when you don't know what you're doing. So I'm gonna have to work with a lot of people in order for it to be safe. So I do have the generator, it's very, very exciting. It'll give me a lot of time to learn with it, but it's gonna take me a few months to figure out a uh, sustainable and efficient way to create more power. But I do think it'd be really, really cool to work with multiple ways on creating power in here. So let's just go ahead and unpackage this, see what's in it, and uh, we'll work with this, but this is incredibly heavy. I mean, 
just kind of pushing it. I mean, I can't even push it over with one hand. It is probably about 100 pounds, maybe a little bit more, but let's just go ahead and unpackage it and check this awesome system out. Well, I just got it open and check that out. That is some really, really cool packaging. So far, just unpackaging it. I'm assuming this is cords, um, the manual and stuff like that. Now, let's just go ahead and check this out. Now, this will look absolutely awesome. This would probably be nice if I had the tripod right now, but for some reason, I didn't bring it over. And wow. Now, this is going to look incredibly cool. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of the box because that is, I can't even lift it with one hand. So that is incredibly heavy, but it's also incredibly big and looks absolutely awesome. So I'm so, so excited about that. But I mean, truly, this is going to be a game changer for the room. I'm actually really, really excited to be able to work with EcoFlow because I've been really interested in working with EcoFlow for years now. It's just absolutely awesome to absolutely have this incredible system in the room now. So I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful and very, very happy that we are able to get this in the room. So I guess I'm going to go ha get help, try get this out of the box. This is going to really suck, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second on the time lapse. All right, all of it is already going good. So this is the generator. It's huge. Probably not smart to have it on the side, but it's awesome. You can see right now it is powering about 330 watts and it's on about 29% and saying it's going to charge it and run it for about three hours. So right now, everything, so all of this, all the grow lights right here are on, all the grow lights throughout this and all the fans are on. So that's really, really cool because all I had to do is click one button and then boom, all of it's off, which is awesome. And then boom, I click it and then boom. So what's awesome about this is I can plug multiple stuff in. So while it's sitting over here in the corner, it's gonna be plugged into the outlet. I'm gonna set it where it takes about 500 watts from it. So the thing is, a big plus is if the room loses power, nothing will turn off. It's gonna immediately go to its backup battery, which is awesome. So since it's gonna be plugged into the outlet, you're probably wondering what on earth is the point of even having a battery? So I'm hoping I can generate a lot of it. I'm hoping it can become half and half. Half is powered by the outlet and just the fossil fuels that comes from, and the others is going to be from whatever I can figure out to make power. So that's really, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this situated and um, there is an app for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up, see how it runs and we'll go in from there. All right, so when you walk in the room for the first time, the battery is going to sit right here. It is awesome. Many great things to be very excited about. Right now, it is just charging, so um, that is very, very exciting. But, I mean, really for now, I mean, it's awesome. I've so far hooked it all up to my phone, and I'll eventually hook it up to the laptop. And we are looking at getting tablets for the room, because obviously it sucks to bring this up and down the rows and do just type in information. So we're working on tablets. And eventually we'll get this battery hooked up to this tablet too where we can um just see all the information now the only thing i don't like about this is the fact that you can go up to it and go boom or like that or i guess for instance like boom there's power in all the outlets click that button all the power is gone so it gets me a little bit slightly nervous because let's say um, just somehow the button gets clicked. There is no power going through the system, which means by just a small accident, maybe I'm going through the app and I accidentally click the button to power it off. The entire system lost power, which is a little bit of a problem because the timers will reset a little bit. Now the thing is, let's say this is off for an hour and then I realize now I turn it back on the timers will be back in an hour. So it's not that drastic, and it could be a lot worse. But the thing is, I don't think I wanna hook up any of the fish tanks to this, just in case that does happen to get clicked. Now, after a long time of having this, and it just never happens, then I'll hook the fish tank up. But the problem is, 
when the fish tanks lose power, the lights reset. So that means I have to wake up very, very early, about 6 a.m., and click the lights on, or that's when the lights will begin to turn on. And they all go for about 12 hours. So it's exciting. It is really, truly awesome to have this in here because I've been working for a very long time to be able to get this in the room and it's just like absolutely awesome to be able to work with it now. We're gonna be doing a lot more testing and I'm still trying to figure out what it's gonna look like for power. It might be a little bit more efficient if this is facing that way and kind of just flip it around just because the charges are on the other side and theoretically all the cords will be coming in right here. So it makes a little bit more sense also, for the most part, if I do end up working with solar, it'll be plugging in from this side. So um, there's definitely a lot of stuff to be very excited about. Now, just the idea of uh, making power by coils, I will have to wire all of it. And I'm hoping I can maybe, or I'm looking for something for the good example. Maybe it's not in the room anymore, but I would have to get an AC outlet. I would have to wire it, um, kind of cut it around, glue it together, and then boom. The thing is, the AC part of this would have to plug into it. So I might look to see if there's a connecting piece where two of these cords can power at the same way. So I think that might be better. Um, and solar can go in this too. I set it towards where, I mean, obviously solar isn't plugged in right now, but once it hits um, 70% and it senses the solar panels are going in, it's going to completely shut off the AC power and it's only gonna charge by solar panels. So eventually I do really wanna have solar panels, but with the HOA and just all of that fun stuff, it's just not worth putting them out yet. Um, there's too much to risk. So there's definitely a lot more to do with this. This is just day one, really like hour one really. I was just having this, so there's a lot more to learn. There's going to be a lot of great stuff to learn about this, and I'm very, very excited about that. But for now, this is going to be the end of the video. But I do want to check this out. You can see all the stuff right there. Really, really good. I did get this 51% off. If you guys do like this, I'm assuming it might go maybe 55% off for uh, Black Friday. If you guys do want to pick that up then, uh, go ahead. But for now... Again, this is going to be the end of the video. So, if you guys like these types of videos, please subscribe, hit the notification on all so you're not upset video, and please like this video. Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys, well, I guess, later today when our next video comes out. Peace!